Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. All right, um, 8th December 2023. So today I'm going to I think piss off a lot of people. <laughs> I'm going to piss off a lot of people, especially women, with this topic titled, Why is it hard to find a good woman in uh, Dubai? So why is it hard? Okay. Now, why the topic? Why Dubai and uh, who the hell am I? So <laughs> I'll share everything with you. Uh, but before you jump the gun and say, oh, you misogynistic pig or you male chauvinistic pig or uh, whatever, just give me an opportunity to share my views on my YouTube channel and you tell me where I'm wrong or right. Okay, this is going to be slightly a long video because we're just going to have a conversation. I have 17, one, seven points, um, which I I spent time. I literally spent, I think, one or two days thinking uh, about this topic, reflecting, speaking to people that I personally know uh, who are married and uh, getting input from even women themselves. Okay, so this is not just me blabbering whatever I feel. And it's not just for the sake of sharing a video. It actually has substance and truth. So what I would suggest you to do is, if you are watching this video or you're listening to it when you're driving, uh, you let me know what do you think, okay? Put down your thoughts, even if you disagree, even if you feel, no, you're totally wrong, fine. Okay, and um, let me know, on a very serious note, let me know, do you think I'm telling you something that is true? Do you think I'm telling you something that is, you know, maybe false? Or do you think, oh, double standards, men can do this, women can't do? So in this video, I will share with you my views on this topic. Why is it hard to find a good woman in Dubai? And yes, I know, you'll say, what do you mean by good woman? Okay. And uh, yeah, definitely the question is, who the hell are you, man? Who the hell are you to talk about this? Okay, so all this will be featured in this video. Okay, and if I didn't answer any question that you feel I should have focused on, please feel free, comment down below. Okay, uh, small introduction. Name is Loy Macedo. Okay, I lived in Dubai for 40 years, 4-0. My parents, 55 years, uh, friends and all that, you know, two generations, three generations. So I've literally seen Dubai from being almost like a desert with you know, one or two small houses uh, where you could go from, travel from Sarja to Dubai in less than, I think, uh, I think three or four minutes to today it takes 45 minutes where uh, life was so simple where you could get even, uh, I think, a studio apartment or one bedroom for almost 2,000, 3,000 dirhams annually. Just imagine, like almost $100. No, no, not $100. Yeah, $100, no. Uh, no, no, not $100. $300. $300 uh, per year. So from there to what it is today. Okay, there were no skyscrapers. There were only World Trade Center. So I've lived through that. And today what do I do is I help people get well-paying jobs in Dubai through, um, sometimes through contacts connections but mostly through personal branding because I know the loopholes of the system and people also book my services for coaching, consulting. Um, that is where they bring out these personal, professional problems and sometimes it goes down to relationships and this topic was inspired by that relationship uh, question. Um, many a times so I get these uh, young, ambitious, uh, by young means 30 after 25 to 35, 40, uh, where they ask me, man, what about marriage? And I'm not able to get uh, 
a life partner you know why are female uh, hey, you know so that is how this topic was inspired okay so this is about me details are put down below so now uh let's understand the terms first before we go uh what is a good woman okay we know what's a woman okay i don't want to get into the american transgender blah blah cis woman and this oh, woman normal i'm old school okay a woman is a person who can give birth okay so let's not get into the transgender definitions okay um so what is a good woman by good woman i'm focusing primarily on you know you you call it like marriage material no you're talking of having someone who you'll spend your entire life with who you can totally trust who you can totally believe that this person i can give my heart my soul everything uh, trust 100% and uh, happily ever after that's a good woman a, a woman whom you would be proud to have your children with whom you know the values will be taught whom you you know whether it's from a religious point of view or societal whatever this is the type of woman you really would want more like how women want the perfect man more or less the perfect woman but not everything perfect i'm focusing primarily on character okay so that's a good woman all right so why is it hard why is it hard to get a good woman a marriage material yeah if you're talking good woman means sexy hot good figure and slim body and have a good time a that good woman you can get a dime a dozen in dubai that is dubai is the the paradise to get such women if you are saying that is a good woman okay to enjoy and have fun uh, there dubai is number 1 eh number 1 <laughs> but uh, marriage no marriage no sorry uh, if you are thinking of spending your life uh, someone whom maybe your mother and father will be like i'm so proud no why why i'll tell you why i'll tell you why there are 17 points and these are the 17 the first one first one let's understand this what is dubai famous for is dubai famous for praying is dubai famous for spirituality is dubai famous for dubai means ue is it famous for uh you know ethics morals values no dubai is famous for bling dubai is famous for money dubai is famous for success a fast life uh, more like if i were to give it a movie it would be fast and furious okay you you see a debonair uh, male you see a sexy female and you see fast cars and you see expensive parties and you see them dressed up like wow like james bond that is dubai so when dubai is like this modern and uh, so outgoing uh where alcohol is like literally you can order alcohol and you can get it delivered where there are booze parties and uh, uh networking events where you can go for uh, night clubs and night life is promoted where women have you seen women dress up uh, for a night club fantastic fantastic mind blasting it's like uh, if you see women when they dress up for a night club they you will find it very hard to differentiate between a sex worker and a female who goes to a night club and you 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 might say that, oh you are so misogynistic or you're so primitive see when you're showing your assets okay when you're showing tight clothes and this and that i mean what, what why why are you doing that for what because you want people to see you know you want attention look look i work so hard in the gym look and when you dance oh, you dance like well <laughs> Let, let's stop uh, acting like we are kids you know why why are you doing that why do men actually go there yeah because they know there are females who are flaunting all this they'll be dancing and where booze alcohol flows lot of possibilities start you'll not get the same when you go to a mosque or a church or a temple 
No, they'll be fully covered. They will be coming there for a purpose to pray. But when they go to a nightclub, when they go to a party life, it's like mm, mating season, you know. So that is what Dubai is known for. That is what UAE is known for. And what type of people come there? The type of people who like this, who want this, that is the kind of people who come there. I'm not saying that every single person who comes to Dubai is only looking for nightclubs and all that. No, they'll either be looking for money, they'll be looking for a better life, they'll be looking for enjoyment, they'll be looking for the sun, the beaches. Uh, in fact, if you want to see women of character, go to the beach. Go to the beach and see them lying without uh, the same suntan. They call it suntan. Sometimes I, you know, when I used to go for... Uh, the five-star hotels and all that, when I was working audiovisual, we used to always make it a point to pass by the pool. Oh, you don't have to see any adult movie. You don't have to see any adult program. Live, in, on lying down near the pool. Suntan, up, down, left, right. Oh, very open-minded. It's called open-minded. If they were some more, if they were more open-minded, I don't know what would happen. The more open, the better. Better for us guys. We're like, mm, very nice. Ooh, very good. We'd stand there. Okay. So that is the kind of people whom Dubai is attractive for. And yes, the ones who want to make money and focus on career. But where there is more money means there is more opportunity to spend. Where it's modern, where it's bling, you will attract those kind of people. And the women who get attracted to this kind of lifestyle are not marriage material. I'm sorry, but a girl or a woman who truly wants to have a family is not going to say, wow, let me go to Dubai so that I can get a loving, caring, family-oriented husband. No, I'll come to Dubai to enjoy life. I know, I personally, personally know females who have moved to Dubai, how they were back home, how they were back home in front of their parents and society, and what they are doing in Dubai. Because freedom. And this is why they come to Dubai. So that's point number one. You can tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. So that is the kind of women who come there. So when that kind of person comes there, it comes to point number two is, you know, it becomes competitive. Okay, Dubai is very, very competitive. So you have, you're facing global competition. It's like in India, you'll only face competition with Indians, but there you'll face competition from, say, uh, people from United States, UK, France, Germany, Europe, Australia, and each one tries to outdo the other. Try this. Go to an office which is very modern or multinational. Have a look at the women who dress up there. I'm not saying they dress up like sluts or whatever, or lose, but they're very competitive, very, very competitive. Um, each one will dress up impeccably. Women dress up even more better than men any given day. Uh, most of them are highly educated. Uh, they are definitely ambitious. They would not be driving a simple car. They'd be driving a sophisticated car. And for a woman to succeed in a man's world, which is very, very tough. Those women who are there in the corporate world, they are not only competitive, they are even better than most average men. And that is why they are there. Okay, otherwise they would not be there. So in order to be that person who is so hyper-competitive, you have to be the best in almost everything from your looks to your hair, to your body, your physique, to your dress, your shoes, your clothes, your, the perfume that you use, the uh, accessories, the jewelry, your image, and that costs shit load of money. It costs a lot of money. It is not cheap. You know, the amount of money women spend to look the way they are, if you compare it to a man, it is almost twice or thrice the amount of money. You know, simple, uh, I'll, I'll tell you, if you see a female who has a good physique i can tell you this much that she is she has extreme amount of discipline dedication 
uh, focus because you don't get that physique by just being yourself. You have to go to the gym. You have to go to the beauty parlor. You have to go shopping. You have to buy. You can't wear the same outfit or the same shoes uh, two, three times in a row. People will notice. So they always keep reinventing themselves. So what happens is they are no longer a family person. They are no longer the person of values which focused on character and all that. No, it is putting on this persona, this, this image. And sometimes it borderlines to being a fake person. Okay. And when you try to be a fake person, guess what? You attract fake people. Okay. Like for example, a simple thing, like Jordan Peterson once had this interview. Why do women wear lipstick for work? Explain to me, why? you know, what's the purpose of lipstick? So that your lips look red. Mm. Why do you put, uh, you know, a little bit of cheeky, flush red? Why? 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 Explain to me why? Why? I'm not saying all the women do that, but why would a woman want to look, you know, lipstick and nails? And what has that got to do with work? You'll say she has to look her best. Yeah, that means she's trying to look attractive. You understand what I'm saying? Let's not let's not pretend. In fact, I can tell you this much. A female does not need to wear lipstick, put uh, makeup, do her nails. She can be simple. And there are women like that who don't give a damn. I'm not saying come hairy and don't groom yourself and you know look like a prehistoric uh, uh, chimpanzee or something. No. Grooming is different. But when you're decking yourself up, when you're trying to look so attractive, obviously, you'll attract. And when you start attracting males who are powerful with money, you are open to new opportunities. Case in point, what happens with the uh, cabin crew females? Oh, you think they don't get uh, men making passes at them? You don't think they get special uh, offers? You don't think there's a business card given to them? Give me a call. Because they look attractive. If you go to Air India, you'll see an auntie you know, with big, uh, you know, Michelin tires, sweaty armpits, you know, sweat patches and all that. Uh, she'll look like this. You'll be like, oh my goodness. Okay, stay far. But when you see a nice, young, fresh, oh, why not? So, number two. Number three is where social media comes in. Just Google search, or not Google search, just search on Instagram, on Facebook, and you'll come across females in Dubai who, you know, one female just sent me this. A very famous influencer. She, I think she's, she just delivered or something like that. But what makes that profile stand out is she has taken a photograph with, uh, like this, she is doing that. Now that is okay, but she's wearing a bikini. Okay, she's wearing in a bikini. Uh, and that is also okay. But her leg, one leg is here. One leg is down. So it's open. Yeah, you know, you just open your legs. And she's eh, doing that. Where do you think the focus goes? Where do you think our eyes go? In fact, have a look at quite a number of Instagram photographs and videos. Where do you think the attention goes. How is their body language? What are they trying to show? In fact, now it's becoming a norm. When females take a photograph, they leave their legs a little open with, a, I don't know what you call that, swimwear or panty or what do you call that? And that also, it is so tight that you can literally see the outline of the private part. You can see the outline. You call it camel toe or whatever. Uh, and like, what? Tell me, tell me, uh, honestly. Okay, if you still justify that, just imagine having your daughter replicate that pose. And when you do that, you'll be very disturbed. You'll be like, no, 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 I'm sorry. It's not good. In fact, a girl from a proper upbringing, a good family, 
if you are the parent and you have a child you will say baba like you know, you know indian indian said baba put your legs together sit properly that's all i know i know you you look at me yeah like you know your my upbringing was not at all proper that is why i made all these decisions but these females these people what is your excuse were you born and raised in a abusive family tell me i'm telling you that my parents were one of the worst characters in the world in fact they don't even deserve to be uh, put in a prison they deserve to i don't know the most horrific thing you can think of they are that horrible people okay so what is your excuse what is the excuse of these and most of these females who are doing this wearing the bikini showing their legs open and this and that i mean some of them come from good families and then you begin to wonder why the hell they are doing that okay so social media and the point i'm trying to make here is the social media currency that comes what is the currency the number of likes the number of comments the viral this thing and it's funny the more number of followers you get the more number of comments you get that makes you a person of high status value where you get brands that will actually want to associate like brands that give you swimwear or makeup and all. oh she has so many followers and so much of engagement and i'll i'll tell you this is the even worse part these females leave their profiles open uh not open in the sense that anyone can join so they have many many followers but the comments that they get there you should sometimes read i love you mm. oh you're so hot baby you know flame and what is this in fact who is who are these people do you even know they don't know roadside you know useless sex starved desperate men they get these big numbers filled with all these useless people do you think someone of someone of proper upbringing or decent is going to follow you no it is like it is like exactly like one cartoon that was shown a female she it's like a cartoon black and white she they show that she has pulled down her trousers and a panty she is bending over and a lot of the public is passing by and like wow oh ye beautiful hot and that is exactly what you are doing you are showing your body parts it's like standing on the street and showing your breast for you know ordinary lay people who maybe it can be a cleaner maybe it can be a roadside guy maybe it can be a pervert it can be anyone you are just showing for validation but it's done online so social media currency is very important in places like these that is why a female with self respect would not have such photographs or such profiles on their social media like just imagine a female who goes for a holiday she is taking a photograph on you know general and most of the photographs are what in the pool they'll normally show you in the pool or sitting with an alcohol drink and look at just pay attention to the outfit in fact i get sometimes uh, on my facebook some of these females uh very intriguing personalities imagine they have quite a number of followers the the they will have a quotation like believe in yourself or today is a new day or never give up or something like that like a woman of character is something they they'll give something but the photograph that they show you is either them bending and showing their bum or you you know you can see their cleavage nicely or and i'll tell you this to come up with a photograph that is not done randomly like you know some females have oh just woke up and they show a oh, hi morning everyone it's not one photograph it's not that just 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 woke up you can be rest assured that i i when i was dating one of these female influencers she would get up me, wash her face then dab it with a towel make her hair properly come back lie on the bed and we are in the hotel huh we are, yeah we booked a room for you know not to pray so after everything she got herself proper lay down on the bed made everything proper pushed me a little bit aside so you know obviously she wants to show she is single and then it was i think nearly what maybe 45 45 for one two 
all these photographs, uh, amount of hard work and dedication, unbelievable. After nearly, I think, 45, 50 photographs, I'm, I'm just like looking at the side, like, what the hell is going on? Ah, I was like nicely entertained. And then finally, she gets one and mm, dee, 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 believe it. Hey, babe, just woke up. How was your day? Like, why? Why? Why do you want to share your bedroom photograph? Why? For what? Yeah, because you get six starved men who are like, oh, content. Then they call it what? Content. Content creators. Okay, so social media currency. You will not get a woman of values, a, a person who is marriage material, advertising her body, her bum, her boobs, BBB, to the whole world. Okay, so please don't tell me that that is what a female does. Number four is the content. You remember I said content creator. Like for example, what is OnlyFans? Content creation. It's called content creation. Actually, if you look at it, it's creating content. Sadly, you don't need to have, a, or rather fortunately, you don't need to have an OnlyFans to show such content. And I'm not talking about females who, you know, are like full-time sex workers, all that. The content that some of these females show, and here's the funny thing, they are, some of them are even in a relationship, some of them are even married. Uh, some of them are like college students, but the content that they share, like I told you, like even, even this gym photographs, I don't understand what is this gym photograph. Like when they are doing squats, the camera position is, you know, like if a guy is doing squats, he will show straight, like, okay, squatting. Here, the camera will be positioned near the bum, will show the glutes, and they want to show, this is my glutes. And sometimes you can see through the nice little underwear that is going in between the two butt cheeks. Or sometimes they will show you, like in the front, like this one particular female uh, who is in my Facebook list. <laughs> so, she's showing squats, or she's doing uh, what machine. Uh, I think machine press uh, for the uh, quads, the thigh muscles in the front. And it's the, her legs are apart and it's angled at such a way. Your eyesight goes from this thigh, this thigh, it goes right in the center. And when you're coming down, you're like, hmm, and you're going up. I don't know. Like even when you're doing like uh, for the lat pull down or... Okay, if you're doing for bench press for the chest, you know where to look. But when you're doing something for the back, the lats, okay, the back muscles, why is the ass popped out? Why is the photograph showing, you know, that angle? And when you're doing this, like, you know, the female... Is that a female of, like, is that, is that someone who you'd say is a mother? This is marriage material. This... I would like my daughter or my sister to do this. No. So this, when you have this kind of content, which is promoted heavily in Dubai or UAE, those are not females of character. I'm sorry. Not marriage material. Okay, tell me where I'm wrong. Huh? Tell me where I'm wrong. Number five, life in Dubai, the focus is very simple. You have left your family. You have left your friends. You have left your country. You all come there. So why you come there? You come there for money, status, power, societal, you know, appreciation. And when you have all that coming to you and your obsession is there, then obviously values and keeping yourself pure or it just doesn't exist. Always remember, you can't focus on everything. You have to choose what to focus on. So when your obsession is work 24-7, when your obsession is to make money, you need somewhere to blow your steam off, right? So where do you blow it? Think. Not in the gym, of course. And yes, keep this in mind. When the focus is money, any element that adds to your success where money, career and all that is concerned, you will take it. I'll give you a good example here. I know this female from, I think she is from Delhi. I'm not too sure. She went down to Dubai. Initially, she was struggling in terms of her career. Finally, she got into this MNC, multinational company, which is uh, 
very competitive and uh, somehow the manager russian guy married with children he took a liking for her okay and before you know it this female is like literally on my facebook i know i know because well, we also had sex whatever for some time next thing i know is she is traveling to all these european countries western countries almost every 2 3 months i'm like wow did she hit a lottery or did she is she earning so much and she was like yeah loy i'm focused on my career i'm very serious i was like oh wow that's unbelievable only one day for her to ask me to uh do give some personal branding advice to a manager and i was like you want me to give personal branding advice to your manager why doesn't your manager no he just doesn't want i'll pay for him and uh, you can give him i was like fine but then i found something fishy why is she so interested why later on she admitted that she was busy shagging him which is why he gave us so many perks and benefits which is why all her expenses are taken care of which is why her performance her reviews everything is incredible now is she wrong in doing what that's up to her her values okay but she is definitely sleeping with this guy which she admitted and he has a wife and he has children okay so you'll say ma ah, it's not just a he is also yeah i'm not saying that he's a saint but you see what i'm trying to imply and why i'm focusing on this is because when the same female goes back to her hometown i see the photographs on the facebook there she is such an innocent nice little goody goody girl a father mother is so proud you like my daughter my daughter oh god god you took care of my daughter my daughter is so hard working she is so studious and she was good at school she is good yeah she is damn good man they think she is working hard and uh, they keep telling her when you'll get married beta when you'll get married they don't know she is already having the honeymoon in fact uh, i asked her when do you want to get married and she told me who the hell wants to get married when i'm having all the best of both worlds makes sense eh? so you see her focus was money her focus was success and she made sure that she achieved these goals so most of the people when they go there any advantage that they get they will grab it you tell me if i'm right or wrong okay number 6 it's there is one thing called need there is another thing called greed our uh, females that come there initially it is about providing for the family providing for uh, their parents for their future but after some time once they get this they call it the dubai air once they get the air of dubai and when there is an opportunity to earn more enjoy more have fun more why wouldn't you take it tell me when you're working 8 hours and if you're getting say 2000 and just by tweaking a few things here and there you can get 4000 who would not want to take advantage why not in fact i'll tell you when uh, females speak together uh, in groups i have uh, one female send me a screenshot of a females group uh, that is based in dubai oh goodness i read some of the comments i was like they are literally talking about guys appendage and they are talking of uh, how to make it bigger and how to enjoy. they were like full on it's a private group and the comments were just unbelievable i was like oh bloody hell and when i did check some of their profiles so if you see their profiles they look like very nice people they look like fa- you know like family with wife and uh, you know husband and kids and all but in the private group oh you see the real side of them come out so the focus is no longer the need now it starts becoming greed very simple uh, how many people do you know when they started to earn money that they didn't want to upgrade their car it's called the heuristic treadmill okay your standards are up here then when you earn more money you push your standards up here where now the house rent is more where the car expenses are more where the shopping now budget is more where you spend 
and before you're eating in a simple restaurant now you're eating in a world class restaurant so from need it moves to greed and this is a very common phenomenon with most of the people living in dubai number 7 with uh, all this it gives you more options and when you have more options i'm not just talking about clothes it's also men the number of men like i i can tell you this much uh i don't know about most of the countries but i definitely know in india as well as in uh, uae especially uae the ratio of women is to men there are more men compared to women and women get pampered like crazy like for example night clubs and bars they give you what uh, women's women's night out or something like that where women can drink unlimited booze as much as booze as you like so when women get free alcohol why not drink oh, why to spend and plus free music free ambience and you treat like a vip and then sex starved men definitely when they see hot women there drinking why not they'll pay a premium at the door means they are covering the expense of booze and to stand there they have to spend money and then to even uh, what do we say impress these women they have to spend more money so when you have so many options why do you want to limit it so what kind of female would want that ask yourself number 8 Ah this one is I'm sure you have heard it have you heard this word called empowerment empowerment in fact uh, I had this I read this article that came on I think daily mail online or unilad this female from australia uh, correct me if i'm wrong she has slept with 300 men in uh, one year okay so that's literally sleeping with every 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 day with one guy or every other day okay so 300 men she has slept and when she was asked why did you sleep her answer was i don't know it's so empowering what empowering what having different sausages put in different orifices what what is this empowering word what nonsense is this that you can openly be promiscuous and in fact uh, sometimes i watch this uh, youtube uh, video um links which are sent in my group uh, there is a podcast where this one guy and all these females sitting around him or two three guys one guy one female and they all have a microphone and they all talking and they literally talk about uh, sex and uh, one female even says asian female but who is living in the us she has started a only fans account and she is making quite a lot of money and when she was asked why did you start she said i did it for my nana who is a nana means grandmother uh, i thought of my grandmother how much she suffered and all that and to honor her memory to honor her memory i decided to uh, take the route to empower myself where i am in control and i am able to get the money to live my life and tame the men and i use this money for charity some of the money you show your bobs and vagin and you show your body and you do sexual acts on camera and that's how you earn money so that empowers you females call that empowerment they are and some females when um i i you know chat with them means potential clients they are like loy i am not like my parents who literally had to slave men bend bend their knee in front of me yeah you are i want to tell them but i just keep quiet yeah you are looking for sims sims and you're looking for sex slaves and they found that empowering some of them found i know i i know quite a number of females who because they are able to sleep around with different men even if they are married they find it empowering why because hmm i can get the type of guy i want they find it empowering so the problem is when you have such words which sound nice but your actions that you're doing are so so i don't know what to call it what, what do you make of it like i i give the simple thing like would you like your daughter to do something like this no the fact of the matter is no so then why is it okay there number 9 remember this much the girls who come down to 
uh, Dubai. They are away from their families. They are away from their friends. They are away from their society. Nobody is watching them. They are not accountable. So when they are with their parents, at least that fear and respect and oh, my mom and dad is watching, let me cover myself. Let me behave myself. But when mom and dad is not watching, well, they'll wear loose clothes. They will have, uh, you know, they'll sleep around uh, in their friend's house or they will have, you know, they'll literally be on the dance floor and they'll be locking lips and smooching each other and touching each other. And yeah, because nobody's watching, right? You are not accountable to anyone. You don't give a damn of anyone else's opinion. You only give an opinion, you know, damn about your mother and father. And your mother and father are not watching. In fact, you might post on social media about God and fear of God and love of nature and all that. But you are actually doing something else. And your parents who are maybe halfway across the world, when they see your post, oh, my daughter is so nice. See, she's putting the Quran or Bible verses and she's standing and she's praying there. But reality is something else, right? So, when your family is not there, nobody knows you, you can do whatever the hell you like. That is what most of the females tend to do who are in Dubai. And especially this is very common with cabin crew. Because they know that when they travel and they go around the world, nobody is there who knows them. They can do whatever shit they like. Number 10. There is a lot of uh, emphasis on embracing your dark side. Nowadays, it has become a trend that, oh, I am I have embraced my dark side. I have embraced my sexuality. I have embraced whatever. So, there's no longer, it's no longer cool or it's no longer, I don't know, hip to be a nice goody-goody girl. It's boring. So, they encourage you to go to the dark side. And when you go to the dark side, this is part and parcel of all of it. Number 11 is the philosophy of live for today. Okay, you don't know whether you're going to live or die tomorrow. So enjoy today. And what does enjoy today mean? Living this lifestyle that promotes all this. Number 12 is the changing attitude towards sex. Once upon a time, I mean, your body was considered like a temple. You would dedicate and give this to only one person and this person would be there for the rest of your life. Today, however, if a female has a boyfriend and it doesn't work out, okay, and uh, they've already experienced what it is to have sex, there's no more uh, shyness. They don't feel shy towards exploring sex. And given the amount of content that is there outside in the world today, there's encouragement for being openly promiscuous. And it's considered cool. Remember what I told you. Only fans, they are known as what? Content creators. This is how the terminology has changed. Number 13, the benefits of modern lifestyle and modern thinking. When you don't, when you're not tied down to a family, you're not tied down to a husband, you're not tied down to uh, your in-laws, you're not tied down to having a child, you can explore the world, you can travel anytime you want, you can go with anyone you like, you can go, you know, late nights. There is so many of these so-called modern life benefits. So the question is, why should I take on responsibility? Why should I take on the headache? Why should I have to wake up on time or get up early to take care of my, you know, husband or my, you know, children? No, just enjoy life. Number 14 is freedom, which I told you. You can travel anywhere you like. You can do whatever you want. And that freedom itself, once they get a taste of it, you don't want to settle down, which is why you'll find it hard to get that kind of woman who wants to be with one person. She'll be like, she thinks like a man. I can have variety. Number 15, the question that they ask themselves, why should I sacrifice my likes, my freedom, my wants, my body for you and your family? Why? Why should I? Why don't you do that? Good question. Very, very good question. Why should you do that? And it's very hard to answer it because when a female says, like this female who I was telling you, you know, she travels around the world. She has traveled to, I think, uh, now 27 countries or something like that. She's like, Loy, wh why should I marry someone and sit in, uh, you know, one home, go to work and come back home and, you know, take care of my husband. Why? When I can enjoy my life. Very hard question to answer. 
well, when I'm sleeping around with my boss and I get uh, bonuses and I get benefits, at uh, end of the day, sex with the uh, one guy and sex with this guy, same thing, right? Like how one female told me, see, end of the day, all the sausages are the same. Okay. It just comes down to what benefits do you get with this sausage versus that? How do you answer this question? Tell me. Then number 16, we're coming to the last two. Number 16 is the peer pressure and uh, the validation you get from your friends. You know, they say, you know, birds of the feather flock together. What happens nowadays, you have these corporate companies where you have women there. Um, then when you go out the social circles and you have women openly discussing things. So when you are in a place like Dubai, where they think modern like this, you definitely get influenced. Like, for example, maybe with your family, your mother and father, they talk of values. They'll focus on family life. Then you go to church again. Then you go out with your other relatives. They'll focus on family life. Okay, so the conversation, the pressure, the lifestyle, everything is within those values and framework. But all of a sudden now, you're in a land where money, bling, success, sex, fun, travel, freedom, all that is championed. What do you think the conversations would be like? And that is where it becomes very normal to just say, you know, I slept with him. Oh, it was so fun. Oh, you should have seen his, you know, VV. It was so nice. And oh, he tried it. We tried this way. We tried that. That's a conversation most of the girls have. So when you keep hearing that and you keep having that, don't you think you get influenced by it? Don't you think you feel start feeling, maybe this is normal here. And last, if not the least, the final one, why it is hard to find a good woman in Dubai is the environment, the culture, the people, the friends, the peer groups, almost every single thing changes you. You know, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. There's a saying, right? If you have to survive in a fast and furious competitive world, you have to be fast and furious. If you want to uh, be accepted by your colleagues, by your friends, you have to cater to common interests. And as you start getting closer to such individuals, when they are relaxed, they will openly expose you to the world that they live in. That is why it becomes very normal then to talk about having extramarital affairs, having multiple sexual partners, drinking, smoking, dressing up like a tramp. So with all this that is given, do you seriously think you'll find marriage material? Do you seriously think you'll find a woman who values family life, who wants to have a child, settle down? No. Who are you trying to fool, man? See, you, you call a spade a spade. Okay, like for example, I can't talk about um, uh, not being tattooed when I am tattooed. It's like Mia Khalifa talking about being a woman of substance and character. When her lifestyle, her past, her even her current situation doesn't match. It's like Andrew Tate talking of being men. What is his definition of men? What does he do? How does he earn money? So. Remember, see, I, I'm, I've told you this before. I am not trying to pretend to be a saint. I'm not. I was a playboy, had my fun, and that's how I know. And for people who are questioning and saying, who the hell are you to talk about? Okay, what are your credentials? What do you want? A priest to talk about uh, women? Then you will say, he doesn't have any experience with women. Then should only, uh, if a man talks, you'll say, why should, who are you? You're a man. So what do you want? Only a woman to talk about women? But then what if you don't agree with her value systems? So someone has to give an opinion. And that is why everyone gives an opinion. But when you state facts, you can't challenge it. Tell me where I've said something wrong. Tell me where do you disagree. And tell me that if you disagree with me, what is the right what is the right uh, message or what is the right statement? So this is what I want to tell you. And through my experience, I can tell you that uh, if 
a guy is looking for a girl to get married, Dubai is not the place to find a female like that. You can find a girlfriend, you can find a, like they call it, fuck buddy, you can find a, you know, fun, fun, no strings attached. But you cannot find a woman to get married, life partner. That you'll never get. And that is why most of the men, they'll have their fun in Dubai. But when it comes down to marriage, they'll go back home and they'll search for a good girl from maybe a conservative, you know, like a simple lifestyle. Anyway, this is my opinion. Let me know what are your thoughts, good, bad, ugly. I'd love to hear from you. This is me signing off. You guys take care.